Now, you can have a great idea for a business, but getting it from concept stage to an international success story is pretty hard. But tonight, two small Aussie suburban companies who have taken the world by storm, and as David Richardson reports, they've smashed some multi-billion dollar competitors along the way. I want to produce the best skincare product that you could possibly obtain, that you wash, cleanse, moisturise your skin. That's safe. It's taken Celestine Hale 20 years to become an overnight sensation, to go from an idea to a $10 million company exporting to 30 other countries. Exciting. It's, it's, a, it's been a great ride. Um, from starting where we were with 350 essential oils to 350 essential oils and 500 body care products. The key to this company's success, the ingredients. All the oils and skincare products are gender neutral and made using native Australian flora. And bucking the trend, everything is made here in Australia, not overseas. When people walk into here, usually the first comment we get is, wow, this place smells amazing. It does smell amazing. Yeah, but when you walk into other, like a department store, its perfume has a totally different scent. Botany Essentials burst onto the world stage earlier this year when it took on some of the biggest companies in the world at the 2018 Pure Beauty Global Awards in Dubai, knocking over multi-billion dollar companies along the way. In our category that we won alone for Best New Skincare Product, two of the entrants were in the top ten in the, in the world for skincare products. These are companies like Nivea. People say they're not even where we are after five years or they don't even make money after a year. So you have to just stop and I think smell the roses sometimes. Their warehouse might be a large closet, their office a stone kitchen bench. But in six months, these best friends have gone from zero to more than half a dozen countries with a product for eyelashes. I actually called it fertiliser food this morning and my son said to me, please don't say that, but it is. Long Lashes was born when Belinda Robinson and business partner Felicia Tappenden had allergic reactions to another eyelash serum which used growth hormones. My eyes were really glassy and red and my husband used to come home and say, have you been crying? Um, and Felicia would have a red line on the top of her eye and we joked and said we should do our own. So they did. Long Lashes was born, again made entirely in Australia. We're safe, we're vegan, um, cruelty free, uh, and we, we work on, sens on sensitive eyes as well. From small suburban operations to international success stories, both these companies prove it can still be done. I want to be global. I want our brand to be a household brand worldwide.